Welcome back to Be Great Economics. This is Nate. Uh, today we're going to talk about Cantillon effect. Cantillon, Richard Cantillon was a 18th century uh, economist in the early days of even writing about economics. Um, and Richard Cantillon uh, coined the idea uh, or essentially helped build the basis of the concept of monetary inflation. What did he do? Well, he basically just analyzed that prices have an ability to flow up and down based off of where the money is being allocated. And as the money supply increases, it distorts the price valuations of comparative valuation between different monies or different items. Now, Richard Cantillon has come up with plenty of other things to contribute to economics. Uh, and he was quoted uh, by um, Adam Smith in his book, uh, the Wealth of Nations in order to cover the idea of entrepreneurship and valuations. But what we're going to talk about with the Candelon effect is the idea that if inflation of the currency supply is increasing and valuations of, say, stocks are really high, the Candelon effect would say that eventually this has to level out because the other things like commodities that are undervalued are not receiving enough attention in their valuation, but that is specifically because the stocks are limited by the fact that you have to care about the valuation of the company. Monetary assets like gold and silver do not care about valuations. They are simply a physical item for goods and services of a limited supply. They are a commodity. They are meant to be used in industry. And so if you consume excess amount of them by adding investment demand, you then cause the price to go up. So the Candelon effect would effectively show us that silver prices, gold prices are down right now, but they will be moving up simply because the money supply has been increasing and the valuation of stocks is too high. So Candelon effect swings into the next place. The first 